What's up guys, Ross here, and today I'm going to start a series called the Weapon Guide Series. It tell, um, this series I'm going to tell you guys the amount of damage up, defense up, the, um, the, we the weapon counters, what abilities are strong on it, if it has any like certain amount of shot potential, and then I'll, show, then I'll demonstrate it in the game. I'll also show, tell you the weapons that it's good and bad against. So the first weapon I'm going to be starting off with here is going to be the both the custom and the regular Elite 3 k scopes. I have maxed out both of these weapons. So yeah, their kits are slightly different. So I'm gonna start off with the regular leader and with a different kit that I'm, I'm gonna try. And the what, but the match I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be using the custom. But I'm gonna show you this kit that I'm gonna start off with. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna switch kits in the middle of it to show you the difference between normal and regular. So let's get right into it. Here we are in the testing area, and now, the first thing I want to mention, though, is the regular E-Leader benefits from one main and one sub of damage up, because it allows you to basically be very fluent with your burst bombs. And speaking of burst bombs, it's going to be the thing you're probably going to want to use most. So the first book, the first ability recommendation, besides damage up, I'm going to be recommending would be Ink Saver Sub. With six subs of Ink Saver Sub, you're going to be able to chuck three burst bombs from a full tank. And that is the minimum amount, there's no less. Five subs will only allow you to chuck two. But yeah. If you run two mains exactly, you can go three burst bombs and a tap shot, which is this. It's an uncharged shot. I'm referring them to as tap shots, though. If you use basically any more than that, you're just going to be able to do a bunch of burst bombs. You can you cannot go over three burst bombs, though, even if you run three mains, nine subs a sub saver. Because the game will cap you out, you'll have to check three burst bombs and you have to wait a half a second and then you have to wait for your ink to come back and then you can check another burst bomb. With e litter, you want to kind of combo into your burst bombs if someone gets close to you and I say that because you don't want to be an aggressive weapon. This is a very defensive weapon that has a max range of 100. The biggest range value in the game. I can't hit someone from here, but you see how close I get? Right there. Look where I am. Right before this line. Yeah, E Leader has a lot of range. This is the scope. The regular E Leader, though, has 97 range. The difference between the scope and the non scope is that you trade off 3% of your mobility when, f when fully charged for 3% more range. And I think that's much better because the mobility you don't really need unless you're a bamboo or a squiffer. But yeah, your tap shot on with no damage up, your tap shot will do 40 damage. And you'll have to make three taps up close to kill someone. But a nice combo that I found out is if someone's running, if you're not running any damage up and someone's running no defense up, you can burst bomb and then tap them, and it will do exactly 100 damage. If anyone has any more defense than that, well then you're screwed. Um, let's just say that. <laughs> but now I need to mention something that's very, very, very important. You have a swim speed nerf. If you're playing one of three weapons, the E-Leader, both E-Leader, even the Unscope, so both E-Leader, Custom and Regular, Dynamo, any three of the Dynamo, and either two of the Hydra Splatlings, you will be nerfed one main and one sub of Swim Speed Up. This will be mitigated by you running a main and one sub of Swim Speed Up. You do not need to run it, but the most fluent, in my opinion, we should be running one main, just on the safe side, on the Custom variant, at least. But now we're going to go on to the special of the regular E-Leader, which I'm going to get really quick. It's the Echo Locator. Now, Echo Locator does get affected by duration up, but it's very, very minor. So I would not recommend you using it. I'd rather you spend the ability slots on damage up or even ink recovery up, in my opinion. So you can be more fluid with your shots. Now, Echo Locator allows you to see everyone on the enemy team that is alive. Keyword alive. But, well for about 9 seconds unless you have, of course, duration up, but it's not going to help that much, like I said. Once the 9 seconds are up, their location will go away, or if you get a kill on them, or anyone kills them, their location will automatically go away. I, and the most important thing is, if you want to run an ink stage, I mean, like, huh, it only has 3 full charges from a full tank, which I'm going to show you right here. About 3 full charges. I'm going to get 3 and you're going to be on low ink, about a, a third through the 4th charge. One main and one sub of ink saver main will completely mitigate that. You will get full full charges from a full tank. If you want six full charges, you have to run three mains, nine subs of ink saver main. Yes, this was tested by me earlier today, so I know this for a fact. 
And if you want to just use burst bombs for whatever reason, then, but if you want to just use burst bombs, you want to use at least two subs of damage up for indirect and direct purposes. Now, the thing with the E-Litter is, if you know the E-Litter from pre-patch, pre-patch, you could basically stand wherever you wanted on the stage, basically half charge, and have max range. That was nerfed significantly, so now you only will have 75% of your initial range value instead of the 100. Before, this entire line that I just made would go up to here. Yeah, it got nerfed bad. But in, for that cost, you also got seven point, I think a 7% full charge increased speed time, which allows me basically to full charge faster, but it was only by a couple seconds. I think it was like a point seven seconds. It's been a long time I've been out since I researched that. But yeah. Some of the weapons that you will be countered by significantly. There's destruction. If you get in the, any of the splatter scope ranges, oh trust me, it's over for you. They charge up twice as fast as you. You see charge speed, charge speed. About twice as fast as you, yeah. And it basically just wrecks you at max range. Also, Splatter Scoop's got a buff, so remember that it has a little bit more range. Anything that gets in your range, you will be at a disadvantage from. But some of the weapons that you will totally counter would be Dynamo Rollers, Crack On Rollers, any weapon that wants to jump, so Blasters. Um, let's see. Sloshers, even. Pros are kind of a hard thing for you, because you're, you're going to be, be um, almost in their range half of the time. And the Jet Sculpture is going to be basically a neutral for you. It has a slow kill time, but you also have a slow fire charge up time. So yeah, um, that's basically all the weapons that you're going to have an easier time with. The harder weapon, oh, well, also Rapids. Harder weapons you're probably going to have a hard, long, uh, t uh, harder weapons you're going to have a time with, I'm sorry. Would be Octoshot Replica, which I just equipped on accident. Oopsies. Um, Octoshot Replica, Luna Blaster Neil if it gets in your range. Custom range blaster, so watch out for the bombs. Like I said, the, any of the splatter scopes. Zinc mini splatling. Um, heavy splatling. Cust um, the hydra splatlings. Um, let's see, what else? 96 is kind of a neutral for you. Bamboo is neutral-ish. Depends on how you want it. Depends on how they're playing it. Um, and that's basically all the weapons you're probably gonna be seeing. Sploosh, just, 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 yeah, just burst bomb him. Like, I don't care. Sploosh, Sploosh is just nothing for any leader to counter. It's just like, boom, you're dead. Bye. But now we're gonna move on to the custom variant. Now, the custom variant is my preferred favorite. It has the Beacon and the Kraken. Now, if you don't know for a Kraken, it's a Kraken. Duh. <laughs> you will automatically probably say, oh my god, no, that thing is Beacons. It must be trash. It's a Kraken replica. No, it's not at all not even one percent you can just keep your distance from wherever you want with this thing and if someone tries to rush you and you have kraken oh they're dead just 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 kiss just kiss them goodbye if you wanna um you also try a technique which i try to do so when i want to jump out after i use my kraken and if the people i'm chasing chased i put a beacon down and then i jump so most of the time i hope they hit the beacon instead of me because it's beacon you can play three beacons down at a time before the first one will get destroyed. So you see that one up there? If I lay another one down, that first one's gonna get destroyed. And then this one will count as the first one, second, third. So you always want to be aware that if you can only have up to three beacons down at once. Um, with about, you know, you have to have three main, no, you have to have four mains of damage up, which I'm gonna have you four mains, like, hey, that's hacking! Uh, no, um, four mains of damage up would be... I count three subs as a main, like four mains of damage would be something like this. I go into the testing range, and that's when you can have a two tap, which is kind of nice, but not really good. Two tap, this is me not charging, not charging, that does 50.2, another tap does 100.4. This will be mitigated by one main of defense up. And basically, if you want to half charge someone, which is like this, without full charging, you have to run damage up at this point. Because I'll show you, I'll do the, I'm trying, I'll try and do the closest, I'm used to full charging by now. So, but yeah, I'm gonna try and show you that you have to run damage up to get a tap, like that. 
I know this is not those are not this is not preferred gear when I just showed you no I just trying to show you something like that it will all it will do anything below 100 damage unless the enemy has taken damage that's why people run at least three subs of damage up which is the minimum amount in my opinion for any leader now now that I went over all that, I'm going to go and show you some of the stages E-Leader is good on. And bad on, of course. Alright, so here we are in the PV. I'm going to show you guys. Not, we're not going to play a game here. We're going to play a game in solo queue. But this are some of the maps that E-Leader is good and bad on. Here's your underpass. E-Leader is trash on. It gets mitigated by all the trees, and it's really hard for anyone to... But it's hard for the E-Leader player to get in, unless you get to the enemy hill or their enemy's alley. Well, the warehouse is such a strong map for E-Leader if you can just camp on the smart on the left or right boxes, preferably the left box, and or on the grating. That's where you see most E-Leader start off on. Now, Wally Warehouse also is very open, and I forgot to also mention E-Leader is a very good weapon for any open maps. Salt Spray Rig is a negative-ish for E-Leader. Depends on how you're gonna play it. You're probably gonna see a lot of Splatter Scope players on this map because Splatter Scope is very strong on this map especially with the whale but if you play leader right you can camp in a certain spot and you can outrage everyone and i want them all is a really strong for e leader because you can camp on basically anywhere on the map and hit someone on the other side of the stage which is extremely strong in my opinion at least black play skate park is a not is a neutral for e leader because they most of the time you're gonna see splatter scopes but if you play this weapon right you get to top mid it just wrecks souls cam trigger fish is a neutral for e leader again because with, without a whale e leader is basically kind of struggling on this map unless you keep a certain amount of distancing between you and your opponents port mackerel is a positive for e leader because e leader on this map just stand, stands in one of the lanes and keeps its distance and it just shoots that's all and you're most likely gonna get a kill kelp dome is a neutral for e leader depends on how you're gonna play it once again most of these maps are depending on how you're gonna play it so yeah kelp dome if you get to the top mid area it's decent but most of the time you'd rather play kelp on this map moray towers my in my opinion my personal fa favorite and best stage E-Leader destroys on this map. You camp in your little snipe area where you, you lead it where most charges are, right before the zone, that area. You just wreck. That's all you have to do. Just use wreck. Okay, listen. You just stand in one spot, mm -hmm, you're dead. Oh, they're dead, okay? Unless you get flanked. You always want to watch out for flanks. Lufen Depot is also a positive for E-Leader because you wouldn't just stand in the high spot to leave the left or right and just pick people off. Hammerhead Bridge is a negative for E-Leader because it's such a wide map and there's grates and grates are really hard for E-Leaders to hit through because it could be a little bit distracting so you'd rather use a kelp here. Launder High is just a negative for all chargers. It's really hard to use on this map unless you perfect your play. Museum Del Fonsino is a really really positive E-Leader map if you keep your distancing and you space yourself properly. Anchovy Games is a really spacing map. Most people prefer the Kelp Splatter Scope here, but I actually prefer the E-Leader. Since E-Leader can all the way, hit all the way across and longer than that. And also it can hit from your office to the enemy team's fan, which is incredible because Kelp can. Or any Splatter Scope. I refer to Kelp because that's what I play, by the way. Piranha Pit is a neutral for E-Leader because depending on how you're going to play it, either you want to your, camp in your zone or camp on the either high, left, or right sides. Or on the little bump area on the on your right, or yeah, yeah, just on your right, and also on that little inflatable by yourself. Mahi 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 Resort is a positive for E leader because you're gonna be basically above everyone and it's super open on this map, which helps you a lot. Anyway, that's every single stage for E leader. Now let's get into the game. Here we are. We're gonna start a game. It's going to be Rainmaker on Port Mackerel and Kelp Dome. Now, I kind of hope we get Port Mackerel. In all honesty, Port Mackerel is a better stage for you later than Kelp Dome, but I'll try my best anyway, if it's Kelp Dome. Okay, yay. Actually, yay. I kind of didn't want to do Kelp Dome. Now, I'm going to try and do that strategy I was telling you about, just camp in the lanes. They have two chargers. I need to watch out for that Kelp Flutter Scope. Because remember, he charges the fashion for a new leader. You'd be able to save, bro. Um, sorry, that's a Pokemon reference. If you don't know, that's a Nihiligo from Pokemon Center 9. 
Now, like I said, you literally just do as basketball camping on these lands. You see, I almost could pick off that Zenny if I would have timed that a little better. Now I can pick up the Zenny. And we think gonna get a pretty good push to start off with. 6 7 not a big win push, which is a pretty strong push. Now, e litter is. You have to watch out for bombs. You're most likely gonna have a bomb going towards you, or you're gonna get an strike on top of your face. Now, even if I have crack in here, I'm gonna grab the Rainmaker. Because. Oh, my teammate said, come on, and looks like we have a good lead. That Zeke Penny's bombing has bubble. And this is what I was talking about the disruptor bubble. He disrupted me, and then I couldn't really do anything. And then he's gonna bubble me. That kill flutter scope is scaring me, but I'm just gonna run the Rainmaker. And is this gonna be it? I think this is it. Yep, right there. It's over already. Wow, that was a really good game from me and my team. But I guess I'll be showing you guys another game because that one was pretty fast. But still, as you guys couldn't really see though, I camped in one lane with the E-Leader and just shot and picked off the opponents. Also, with E-Leader, I didn't rush in at all a lot. Well, I rushed in with the Rainmaker, but still. Yeah, anyway. That was a good game, and I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the second game for a final demonstration of how the custom E-Leader, or the, just the e regular E-Leader in general, plays. And here we are, poor Macro once again. This time I'm gonna try and not grab the Rainmaker, if it's okay with my teammates, of course. Oh my gosh, do we have that? Oh my, I, sorry, I think it's, no, never mind. I had a L3 earlier in my lobby that just wrecked before, and earlier in Silver Cube. Not up something again, huh? Now, this time, since we have a kelp, he's gonna go to that lane, and I wanna go to this lane. We're gonna be splitting up a lot. That's the name of the game, i Split up as a team and hold it down. Just hold the stage down. And also, I forgot to mention Happy New Year's to everyone. Okay, my kelp is down, meaning their charger got him. Got him. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna try and play a little bit of camping. As you can see, there's three. There was just three dead for the enemy team, and I, and I got the last one right there. Joe, which is the kelp water scope, which is a very smart decision for him to grab the rainmaker. So okay, that's one down. I'm gonna try and pop the shield and get a cup. Get, pick off this one. Okay, yes, I am. Okay. As I saw someone go to the high spot, so I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Once again, not trying to be too aggressive. Not trying to. Not play back a little bit. He forced my special out, which was pretty strong for him. Even though we, now we don't have a crack in the push. Oh yeah, also, I forgot to mention this! This is really huge! Your Zuka is your biggest threat against an Elyr, by far. Oh wow, I ran tough on him. Sorry guys. That was just a bad play by me. Now, what I want to do is just get the people. I see my CRB in one lane, and I accidentally jumped to my kelp, which was really far up in the battle. He's gonna, that guy's gonna pop his Inksuka. I know what they're gonna be doing. So all I'm gonna need to do is switch between lanes and apply the pressure that that is needed. So there's a Kraken coming for us. He got our kelp. Oh, I should not have challenged that. Yeah. Even I sometimes call out some of the flaws that I make in E-Leader. With E-Leader, not in E-Leader. <laughs> There's just a lot of flaws in E-Leader, Capital. Um, now, what we need to do... What I need to do, actually, is just back. And pick off this man that has Inkzuka, thank you. If you see an Inkzuka, either hide or try and pick someone off that has it. Boo, thank you. Boo. That's, yeah, so when your leader's goal is to pick off any other charger, if you have the most range, you want to stay back a lot. As you see, I'm just trying to switch between lanes here, not trying to make myself too predictable so the charger know, or any of their teammates know where I'm going to be. Also, the way you want to play your leader is by peeking. Now, if you don't know what peek is, it's what I'm doing right now. Barely even showing my laser, then peeking out when I need to. Peeking out with my body, actually. Now I'm gonna pop the crack and I'm gonna hit him. Now it's always not a stupid idea to hide. What? No, T, T, T. Okay. That was stupid, but what we need to do now is just grab him and go. Oh my gosh, no, that's an easy No, team, 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 grab it, please. Team, grab it, please. Please, please, please. 
No, they're gonna, they're gonna grab it. They're gonna grab it, dude. Grab it. Oh my god, he didn't grab it. But yeah, we're gonna get a whale off here. I'll be in this game. You literally don't want to be wet. You don't never want to be open with you. I'm gonna grab the Rainmaker here. So he traded. That's good. Now we get the Rainmaker out. You need to watch out for their Charger though. I don't know where he is. Now that the enemy team's all alive, I have to rely on my teammates to get the kills. That's a CRB. Someone just cracking. I'm pretty sure that's the Charger. Don't kill me, dang it. Get that with the charger. There's another crack being popped though, so that is pretty good for us. The sad thing is though, we're not in the lead! Oh, I got flanked again by this bush. I should have actually focused more on him. Yeah, they have just so many mazookas at this point. It's gonna be really hard for us to push in. Especially with my teammate all the hell away back here, to be honest. The kelp is way too scared right now. No, oh, spoosh, no, I cannot fight you. Help me do two for uh, no. Oh, well, that's gonna probably be the game here. That's two down for us. Yep, that's the game. But anyway, still, we got the, we got the instant knockout on the first game. And I don't want to cut this one out to make it to be like, oh my god, he just wanted to win two games in a row. No, um, I just want to, I just wanted to demonstrate. I feel like I did pretty good demonstration there. I should have watched out for the flank though. But still, even if it's a loss, it's just a game. So yeah. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my U Leader 3K guide. Please leave any, please leave a like, comment, and, please leave a like and comment down below on any improvements I should basically make my guide series but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching once again i'll see you guys soon